that the um, super deck shows the space. Okay. I just got him up earlier. He should be right here. We'll see the fourth floor first, which is the larger one, and then we'll go down to see the uh, third. This is small. How's it going? Back again. All right. Let me see in there. So we're gonna check out the two, the four, and the third. Oh, the fourth and the third. Oh, okay. You said two. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, two spaces. So this is a small one. So this would be the entrance over here. Yeah, we have the entrance. There may be a second entrance as well. And uh, yeah, it's all so I'm going to get a lot. All right, get the emergency exit over there. There's a sink. Looks like there's two enclosed offices in this space. Get your fire sprinkler up there. So there's an office over here. You have an office over here. Yeah, great. So the heat is provided. Air conditioning is as ghetto as one can expect from the old and top building. Very nice window unit there, nicely tipped over, ready to fall on an unwitting pedestrian. We've got, uh, they have some nice ventilation over here. Yeah, look at that. Got a nice little MacBook fan over there. All right, so I take it this office is completely unventilated. And if there's no possibility of putting a condenser unit or a split system, this room will boil. This room would absolutely boil if there's no place to put a condensing unit for a split system. So we got to look into that. Or we just tear this down. Like, fuck it. We'll just say that there's one office here. So this, if we just... Because that can be an office because that's by a window, so it would have an air conditioner. 
whereas this would not have an air conditioner. Small office here. So what are they asking for this one? This is on 29th Street, around 8th. So it's pretty close to the A, the C, the E, the 1, the 2, the 3. A few blocks away from the F, D. That's in 12, 8. 12, 8, I guess. So they wanted 12,800? Yeah. Right. Keep going. This is very important. Hmm. Like 10 or 20% kind of negotiable. Like or so. All right. You're not doing any work. Boom. Take it as it is. Now tear down a wall, an open space. They they put the price in that people are going to ask you to build out. So this and that. You're not yeah. Asking you, to build out. Not, you don't want a glass office. You don't want this. I don't want a glass, yeah, fancy glass know. office. I'd most likely tear that because that's yeah. going to be a nightmare to air condition yeah, anyway. All right, so probably after negotiating like nines or 10,000, 9,000 in that area. So. Well, you figure 12, 8, you're probably looking at around, yeah, about 10, around 10 something. All right, so about 10,000 10, for this. 10, so let's see, where would we place this? You walk in. Before you get to my office, you have somebody guarding me over here. Maybe a Hannah and a Kevin. This entire space over here could be reassembly people, so reassembly person. So we have right now three reassembly people. So we could fit another one. We're going to need another one anyway. So you could easily fit a table of four reassembly people through here. Now you could have board repair person here along this wall. So this whole wall could be board repair person, board repair person, board repair person. So let's say Paul takes the corner. This could be his desk entirely. Chris, his desk entirely. Camille, his desk entirely. Uh, this could be Steve's clean room bench area, but also he would, he, Steve is kind of the salesman, quasi-salesman, so he'd be able to Still hear what people say as they walk in from over here. Get out this huge clean room bench area. And hey, this could be the shipping room. Does Dan really deserve air conditioning? And we just leave it as is, the stock room. Yeah, Dan's fine without air conditioning. This is all the ventilation he needs. Two computer fans over there. Yeah, this one I can. This one's something to actually think about. I'll say, like, I would want to like kind of map out and plan where I put things back at the office, show them the video. But okay. like the other two, no. But this one at least is like, considerable. The one question: so how is the elevator in this building? Like, uh, we'll we'll take that all the way down. So yeah. we're gonna go through the. Uh, we're, we're gonna go through the, the passenger. Also, there's a bathroom on the floor, right? Yeah, every every building should have a bathroom. Right, so and I'm gonna check, but I'm not sure. I assume nothing. So here we are. Let me see. I mean, a lot of times buildings will have bathrooms. So you have a small, you have a ladies' room here, you have men's room here, nothing big. Nothing Let's see what we got for a bathroom. Oh, yeah, I have a kid over here. This is huge. I'm kind of curious, what do they want for this one, actually? I don't know. It's probably cheaper because in the back, but it might be paid. Anyway, you can ask because this one honestly has. It's cheaper to the back. This, because I don't, I, there's also, I don't have to knock down a wall with this one. There's less work for me to do to just take it as is. Like, I would ask them to do nothing to this. This, this um, yeah, I'm feeling this one a little bit more. 
And somebody spent good money on an AC for this place. That's like that's an expensive one. If somebody hasn't taken this, I would take it as is and just do it. I would. They don't even have to dump the garbage. I would handle that. Maybe I'll, I'll call them up and find out. Yeah, but maybe it's that they haven't finished yeah, the demolishing it. It may not have listed it already. But it may not even listed it because it looks like they're doing a white box. Wait, so you said that because this is the backspace, it may be worth less. Explain this this concept to me because I'm not familiar. Yeah, I mean, look, you don't have any view. You look at this. I don't back. need a view. Yeah, I know. Fuck yeah, the view. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I don't need a view. Yeah. So this is. Yeah, I don't need a view. I need space. This is honestly much more fitting than the other one, just based on layout alone. So I would be interested in figuring out if this is take. Yeah, I would want to make this place look essentially as pristine as an Apple Store, but okay. I don't want. The, I don't need them to do it because I have a very specific layout that I want. Bring some new so. Yeah. You can bring your own architect in here or whoever you Yeah, I'd have my own designer and my own yeah. construction person yeah. permitted yeah. and licensed, of course. But I would, yeah. want the, I would want to do the build out. I wouldn't want them to do anything. All right. But I would like to make this place look kind of like the inside of an ask Apple store. Guy, I'm going to ask the super, did they rent this thing? Yeah. Because I if they didn't, I want it. Yeah, this one is more. Now we're talking. Yeah, I like this. I hope they didn't rent it. I, 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 it doesn't look like it. We had a sink to piss in. Because yeah. they would, it would be locked. They wouldn't leave it open. When it's rented, they lock it up. So nobody this looks like they're in the middle of demolition and somebody went to lunch, honestly. It just yeah, looks like. Yeah, yeah. This has been demoed. This is, uh, this is the stuff from. Or either this is. They, they threw stuff in from another build out and they threw it in here. Yeah, this is huge. This more than fits what I'm looking for. And honest, I, here's the thing. I like stuff like no view because I don't care. Because no, if I'm being built for a view, I'd rather be built for space. All right, all like, right. I don't care if I'm looking at a dumpster. All right. Uh, all right. But this is... All right, all right. Hey, look, I, uh, I definitely agree. Yeah, this space actually kind of... This space excites me. Yeah, what's, what's going on with this space? It's a, yeah, it's, it's nobody's in here though. This is a bit, well, I'm gonna call the office and double check. But we like this one. So, uh, to me, it looks like nobody's rented because he would he would have said something. He'd say, oh, somebody who I got this space. He would have known, he, you would know, you would know. Because they would have told you, saying, don't, don't show this space. They would have they said, don't show this space because we already rented it. I would feel weird if somebody left my door open if I rented it, so I imagine it's not. Well, rented. you know, it, until the, you just opened. Oh, okay. You say you want the third floor, but they didn't show me on oh, this yeah. one. I mean, is this, if, is this available? Because we're trying to figure out if it's already taken. Because if it's already taken, then I can't take it. You said you want to see the two spaces on the yeah. third floor. They're only showing me one, but that's okay. That's fine. I'll take it. I'm I mean, interested in this one. This is the one we want. This is the Okay. All right. Looks like we're good. Yeah, let me just get a... Much one more walkthrough of it to show everybody. So this we have this is a punishment room right over here. This is when Anel solders a QFN like a fucking first day student. He gets to sit in here. We're just listening to that. In that case, that's the punishment room. Honestly, that would fit every quick. Every I, I may not if this is a is a um, if this is an emergency exit, then I would probably have to keep it clear. But still, I can keep a punishment room. All right, over here. Look, we got some of my friends over there. Eh? Eh? At least they're dead. They're not eating each other like at the other fucking dump we looked at. Uh, so this is... Okay, so let's say this is entrance. So you could have entrance over here. Customer walks in. They're greeted by uh, Hannah, Kevin, or Kevin compatible and see ya. like over here you could have Paul Chris Anel Camille 
new guy whose name I forget. Over here, you could have all the reassembly people. So, like, you know, Olga, Tagir, Orhan, up to this point. This section could be literally just part storage. And what would be nice for me is I could have my alcove over here, so this could be my recording space. So instead of having this little three-foot dump of a desk I have now, I could have a full eight or even, yeah, I could have an eight or 12-foot desk right over here with all the YouTube stuff. And if I sit it around like this, not only do I have a view outside of the light, but I'm also right out of view of the people walking in, so I don't have weirdos walking in going, ah, I want to interrupt your video. So this, this would be great. And also, I'd be, Steve could, actually, Steve could make this entire space his data recovery workstation. So his entire, because right now he's working in about 10, 20 square feet right behind a garbage. Uh, he could have this entire space cordoned off for himself, but he'd also have a direct view and line of sight of the people walking in because he likes to monitor it and it's good for training since he's usually the one training the customer service people. Yeah, this is, this, is, this would be a good space to grow into. I, I like it. And when I, this is available. This is the 3144. When I said that was the 3144, I should have been saying this is the one that's 3144. So they wanted 12.8, and I said take it around 25% off. So, you know, you're on. That was for that one or this one? That's for this. Okay, so this is the place that I'd actually want to put in an offer this for. This is it. This is the one. So I was my error. I, I was calculating thinking that was 34. So the other one would probably be cheaper than that this one. That was cheaper. That, was tw that one was 2300 Yeah, I, I, this that, one's more like... Then it looked like... This is what I was looking for yeah, when I first walked in. Because the spaces, here's the thing, the spaces in that other building were more, much more polished looking, yeah. but the polish is costing an additional five you're to seven thousand. I don't want the polish. I'll make the polish. I'll bring, uh, I, so this, this is more w what I would like. All right. So I would, can you uh, put in an offer on my behalf on this one? Okay. And just let me know what information they'd want in terms of financials, so tax documents, etc. I'll send that all over. Got it. You got it. You definitely, I got it. Just send me the email address to email it to, right. and I'll go from there. Yeah, let me give you my, uh, I'm glad I didn't go to get lunch because I would have missed this space. I am kind of hungry. Right to your office. I am kind of hungry though. Yeah. You gotta forgive my handwriting. Oh yeah, your yeah. handwriting is as bad as mine. Yeah. Almost as bad as mine. So. That's my. Uh, I'm probably gonna message you and ask what your email is. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> but, uh, my... Yeah, you, like, you, you know when you walk into a place if it fits. This is great. It fits. It's got the right size. Yeah, like, uh, the, only, the only thing I'm curious about is, like, uh, is this building okay with me having people show up every day? There's no doorman at the front desk. I don't need a doorman. That's, so you're, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I wouldn't have a doorman. You're I would probably just, like, beef up the door if possible or have a security system installed. After, after a certain hour, the door is locked and somebody has to buzz you in. I think after 7 or 8 o'clock, they lock the doors. Yeah, so, uh, so, like, how would that work in terms of getting into the building? So, everybody has a key. Mm -hmm. So, either you're most likely going to have an electronic key. Mm -hmm. So, this, boom, anyone who works here gets a key. Okay. If you're not working here, you have to be buzzed in. That's fine. Now, what are the hours during which it's locked? Do you have an idea? I'll find out for you. All right, because right, we're I'll open 12 to 8. I'm not really fine. taking it's people. It's locked from, uh, they usually, oh, the super comes in around 7 in the morning. They unlock everything, and then they leave around, they leave. They, the, the last person will probably leave around 7 o'clock at night, and then they probably lock up the door at 7.38. So That's they, fine. Because other people are coming in. This is New York City, so they no one, this is not 9 to 5. Yeah. So this is, uh, you know, you're going to find, and, and you're going to find companies similar to what you're doing. We, always, we could always adjust hours a little or have yeah. somebody go up and down. The thing is that as long as the space is um, suitable, and this, kind, this is fairly... In a five-year deal, right? I would prefer 10 if possible. Okay. I'm used to the buildings being purchased by somebody else, and when that happens, them trying to kick out the existing tenant. All right. like they, my, they may not do a 10-year deal, but I can, I'll push for it. They may, right. most likely, they'll probably give you something like a five or seven. Yeah, I wish they could do a 10. Seven is getting, yeah, seven, seven I think I can work with, uh, but I would still push for the longer. Oh, I was like, put in my building, this is like my building was purchased by this uh, other management company, and ever since, it has a tendency to go on fire. Uh, it's been on fire twice, the gas has been turned off. Like, they're doing everything they can to try to get everybody else out. And I understand why they want to do that, that they can renovate it and sell for more. But the fact that I had that 10 year lease is why I'm still there rather than, you know, working on, on out there. So it's, I'm, I'm, oh, I typically, I'm okay working with a specific company. It's just when that company sells the building to somebody else, I want to have something on paper that keeps me from getting owned.
and uh, only have one space, we have two on the yeah. third floor. Can I see what the, let's see what the Can elevator situation is. Yeah, sure. Right, so you have a bathroom, but I forgot that's locked. Yeah, there's a small bathroom. That's the only What floor is this? You're on the third floor. All right, so not a long trip. I think that's we're, we're good on that. One. Of all the ones that you've showed me today, this is the one I would be interested in at least posting an offer for. All right. That's a fancy elevator. Yeah, you see at night, you know, to get that's your locks your that locks it up. You yeah, so no keys. no random person can yeah, walk in and walk get in. into it. Yeah. I like that. But that's also helpful for uh, like security. Uh, since we have a YouTube channel that's close to a million subscribers and sometimes a lot of people show up at one in the morning and my gate will be down but unlocked and people will pull it up or do all sorts of stupid shit. And this is... It, it, yeah, it goes up. Got one freight and two taxis. Yeah, that was pretty quick. Yeah. And again, since it's third floor, it's not going to be yeah. too painful. No, no, you're good. You're good. Decent lobby. Yeah, so... Um, I will email you if I can read your handwriting. If you can't, you'll get a text no, message yeah, from me in a half hour. Text me over. I'll text uh, you over my stuff, uh, all my contact information as well. I'll text it over. So hey, we'll put an that. offer in. Like, not retail, but we'll see like what right. they uh, say. No, no, I'll put it in and uh, get it ready for you. If you get me to give me your corporate name, um, I'm going to need tax return. I can, I can send all it. that over. I have it prepared send because it, people right. have Send it over to me and I can get it over to them today. All right, thank you so much for taking oh, the man, time. It's my pleasure. Good meeting.